Okay, good morning everybody again. Thanks for being at Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee and this is a live show on Ustream if you're watching the recording. And we've already done a couple of videos this morning, so we're going to work on part three where we're actually going to do a project. <laughs> uh, you didn't tell me this flip this it says it made it so easy to clean up. Yeah, it does. I'm telling you, Carrie, I'm a flipper when it comes to organizing. I like to be able to flip through whatever it is that I'm, you know, have organized. I like to be able to flip. Some people like to stack. Some people like to pile. Some people like to, you know, I like to be able to flip. That's my, uh, my system of organizing. Okay, so let's see here. Let me uh, move some of this stuff back out of my way underneath here. And, uh... Yeah, so we will work in this book today. So if you have any questions, put them in caps. So I know that you're talking to me and not just general of chat. Thanks again. Somebody's cooking something downstairs. It sm smells so good. I think Hubster made waffles. <laughs> I'm smelling the waffles in the syrup. Okay. So, in this uh, inspired nature, inspired coloring nature, coloring to relax and free your mind, it is by, let me see who the publisher is again, I forget, Paragon. And uh, they have a few different ones. They have nature, they have travel, they have, uh, there's a few different ones that they have. Paul is using one, and I don't know if it's nature or if it's a different one. She's using one as a art journal. And uh, so there's all different ways you can use your color books. You're the boss of your color book. Go get a plate, Dee Dee, and away. I should have done that before I hit record, but now nah, it's all right now, Eileen. I've already, I've already started. I would have done it in between, but that's okay. And <laughs> this is the one page that I've done out of this book so far. And again, I like to do all kinds of mixed media in my color books. I like to sometimes do a wash of acrylic, watered down acrylic paint, and then do color pencil over it. In this case, I, it's black acrylic paint in the background. The whole background is just, and I just use Americana craft paints. Okay, when I say when I say acrylic paint, that's what I mean, watered down or just straight from the bottle. They're Americana, ninety nine percent of the time. I might I might have one or two different. Uh, different brands, but I just love my Americana uh, craft paint. So when I say I'm using acrylic paint, that's what I'm referring to in my color books. So thanks, Rain. So I started by just painting the background all black with just straight black acrylic paint. Okay. And then I did um, a wash of Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons you can use just kids cheap watercolor set as or watered down acrylic you know, just water down some acrylic paint and do a wash with that in this case i just use some neo color two water soluble you gotta get the twos the neo color two uh, roman numeral two are the water soluble ones the neo color ones are just a wax based crayon and are not water soluble so you have to make sure, thanks guys, that you get the watercolor ones. So I put a wash of those down, a couple of a, like a um, like a lavender and a pink. And what I did is I based the color of my flowers off of this one little girl, this image that I cut out of a fashion magazine. I based the way the color that I did of the flowers, although they're like a cherry blossom, that's probably close to the color anyway. But I uh, I based the color of the flowers on her outfit okay and then i added my own little watch parts like to the cuff her hat and then inside all the flowers i added bits of watches inside the uh inside the flowers then i went back with a pit pen a waterproof faber castell pit pen and uh, did the stamens uh, in black, went over the stamens. Again, that were, some were already there, and I added, just added some more. 
and then I went and I added some watch parts, some collage parts, and then uh, went in with a white gel pen. And then after the white gel pen of all the stars, I did a few little splatters of white paint all over the whole thing. So that's the whole process that I used on here. Um, no, I did not did not record this page, Denise. Yeah, I did not record doing this page. That's why I'm talking in depth about how I did it because I did not record it. But here's the thing. We're going to do something similar today. Um, I, I kind of want to do the same similar technique uh, depending on how much time again. Um, so let's see. Do I have questions? Okay, no questions. Is there a no pink flamingos? <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay, don't get Eileen started. I already got her on something this weekend with some pink flamingos. So we better we better cool it on the pink flamingos. <laughs> okay, let me tip my camera just a little to the right. It's a little off, which throws the the page off just a little in the shape of the page. Hang on, guys, I gotta twist it just a little. There we go. Otherwise, the uh, color book page looks a little uh, skewed. There we go. <laughs> so that's what I did. Hey, Vicki Cook. Been a while since I've seen you. Good to see you. All right. So I've not decided which one I want to do, although I do have a couple bookmarks from last week. I like this tree. This would probably, probably be a simple one to do in the limited time that I probably have because I do have my family here from LA and this is my third video today but they're all down there eating waffles without me so <laughs> but uh, so I'm thinking that this tree would be probably kind of an easy one a quick one I should say not necessarily you know uh, a, a quick one to do so let's go ahead. I think I'll just go ahead and commit to this page. Now I am going to go ahead and break the spine of the book a little more because you can see that it's not lying flat. So I'm just going to turn the book over and, you know, kind of bend the spine so that the book will lie flat. I can always just tear these pages out too. This particular book is not perforated. The pages are not perforated. Uh, not that that matters. If I wanted to tear it out, I'd just tear it out. But we're going to go ahead and do this page here. All right. Um, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm trying to keep up with chat here. <laughs> the girls are trying to lose. Okay. So I'm going to start. I'm going to do the same type of thing that I did on the other page, but just with the tree. Now I am going to probably get a couple of watch parts out, maybe just one. We'll kind of keep this page simple because of the time constraints. And I, I want to be able to finish it so that y'all can see it done. But I'm going to start with just some black acrylic paint. And again, these green splatters are all in th this particular uh, series of books. They, um, they have these green splatters in the travel one. They have them in this one and, uh, you know, the various books uh, that Paragon puts out in this line. They all have these green splatters uh, throughout the book. But I just paint over them. Now, some parts like this, uh, like these flowers here, they have some bits that are colored in. But you can just paint over it if you don't like the green, if you want to leave the green, or if you just, you know, like the way it looks, you know, then leave it. But uh, in this case, and in the case of this one, this one had green splatters all in the background, too. And I just painted over them. So let me get my water here, my tub of water, and get a brush damp. Let me find a nice uh, flat or angle brush. Here, let's see. Well, something not too, not too uh, small. This won't quite work. So I just get my brush damp. I, I don't. I try never to put a completely dry brush in the paint. It that your brushes will just last longer and and clean up better if you at least get them damp uh, before. Okay, all right, so let me get a piece of cardstock to put behind there. I have some lying around here somewhere. So let's just get here it is. 
so that when I go off the edges there, I don't have to worry about uh, putting, you know, getting paint on behind. Now, I don't ever really care about getting paint like here or something, but if you get paint on the pages behind, you're going to have stickage. So it's best just to put something behind it. It's best to put something behind all your color book pages, to be honest. Did you just slide your book into the paint? Oh, I don't think so. It's there's a lip on here. There's a lip on there, so it's not really gonna if it slides across the top. No, it's we're good. <laughs> we're good. Thanks, Francis Butter. Yeah, I've I've done that kind of thing before. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just quickly paint the whole background with it's not watered down. The paint is not watered down, but I I put this behind here so I can go all the way to the edge. And I do go a little faster on stream than I would normally do uh, if I was just doing it by myself, like the uh, the uh, Asian girl that I just did with the cherry blossoms. That probably took me about three hours. I think I figured it out last time we were talking, or last time I showed it last week. I think it took me about three hours to do that whole page. Uh, we're going to try to do this one in an hour or less. Yeah, the only the only wet paint is the is the black. Yeah, and I just use coffee lids. This is like a clean one right here. The Folgers coffee lids. That's what I use for palettes. All right, let me get that in the corner there. Be a little careful on the edge here. So if you have any questions, just put them in caps. And we're going to do a kind of a quick page so you can kind of see it doesn't have to take every page doesn't have to take three hours i guess it just depends on how much detail you want to add how much collage mixed media what you want to do you know uh, with it i also later this week i have a stack of my art cards my collage mixed media art cards to work on i've already got a bunch of um, collage elements picked out I don't want to get too much on that page. Um, ready to go. So I will be trying to do an impromptu later this week and working on them. I think I have about 20 of them, 20 art cards, because I do like to send those out to you guys, but I run out of them so fast. And it does take a good, you know, day <laughs> to really do a, a set of 20 or so, because uh, not only do I mix media, collage them and all that, but then I varnish them, paint the back, sign them, you know, do a lot of other extra stuff with them. I do have a million. I actually threw a bunch of them away, Whippy. I mean, I had like literally, we all saw when I was doing the art cleanup in here, the art room studio cleanup that I did live to. Uh, somebody said, I can't believe you did that live. Well, hey, it was fun. Uh, I showed you the stacks of those that I have. Boo did peel out a bunch of the acrylic paint skins. And I have a whole bunch of those paint skins, but I just don't really use them. But I, I had to keep some of them. <sighs> yeah, coffee creamer lids. Yeah, bright red. Yeah, makes you happy. Yeah. I like black. Uh, it doesn't distract me from the colors. I, I know technically speaking you should use white as your palette color because to see the true colors you should really have white palette. But uh, yeah, I like black. You saw the art ring. <laughs> That's why you're saying that. So I'm not sure if I want to do, you know what, I might do some water down here. I might do some water wavy things coming up over the tree. That might be kind of cool. I've done that before in the uh, in the Doodlers Anonymous. Let me go see if I can grab it. In the Doodlers Anonymous color book, I put waves of water. Um, let's see. Where is my... Oh, and I did show, I did do this uh, project live. This, no, not that one. This one. How I did these waves. This was all just white right here. There was no nothing here. And so I added waves around her. And I really like the way that looks. So maybe we'll do that again. I think we'll do that. Let me leave that over here. I think we'll do that at the bottom of the tree. 
So let's leave that for the painting blue. Oops, got a little bit blobby there. Just so you can see, you're the boss of your color book. You can do, you don't have to just get a you know a box of crayons or color pencils out and color it like um, like you know you think of coloring pages. Make it your own. Use your own supplies. Use whatever you enjoy doing. You know whether it's acrylics or watercolors or pencils or watercolor pencils or uh, ink tense pencils. Whatever you like to use. Okay, your eye, itchy eye. Added extra fluffy bits. Okay, now we're talking about the French vanilla coffee. What kind of? Hubster likes the pumpkin spice um, creamers. See, I just like plain Colombian, Folgers Colombian coffee, extra strong with milk. Just plain old milk. And that's how I drink my coffee. I have to get a smaller brush to get in those little bits. Actually, I could. I'm not, I want to say I'm trying not to say basically and actually so much. That would probably be cool to color the inside of that like a bright yellow, like light in there. I think I'll do that. So let's go ahead, and you could do that with color pencil. You could do it with washes, whatever. And I might end up adding shading inside there but for right now i'm just going to paint in the background there let me get a smaller brush i need to get me i always need to get new angle brushes i go through those angle brushes like crazy it's just a little flat we'll use this one you like the pumpkin yeah, the, I'm talking about the creamer itself. Um, I know a lot of y'all like the pumpkin spice, like from Starbucks and wherever. I'm just not a flavor coffee gal. I just like my plain old coffee. Strong. Granted, I do like it strong. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. I'm ha enjoying having my family here from L.A., they leave at like 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, so don't, it wasn't quite long enough for me this time. They're usually here like four to five days. This time they're only here like three, so it's kind of a quick visit. But anytime we get to see them, it's, it's great because it's hard for them both to get off work like Annie and Dan when they were here in the video earlier today, which I'll upload that one too. Uh, they said that... Uh, you know, what they did and all that. Annie's an RN and Dan's a social worker, a kid's social worker or social worker with children. And so their schedules are like crazy and they only like to see each other maybe every third weekend or something because Annie works weekends, Dan works during the week and they, you know, swap off taking care of Logan. So it's really, you know, hard for them to get out here. You like the hazelnut coffee, flavor coffee? Um, you know, I guess if I had to pick one kind of coffee, it would be like a mocha, like a, some kind of a chocolate coffee. That would be the only like flavor coffee that I could say I really like. So when you do the cards, you maybe one to put it in. A TV box, and then the box gets full. Yeah. So Eileen was saying uh, earlier when I showed the Happy Mail, uh, Eileen says she'll make a card, and then she'll just keep making a card, a card. <laughs> and then when the box gets full, she mails it to me. Yeah. So, and all those cards get, except for my one, pick one for my birthday, <laughs> they get mailed out to you guys for birthday cards. All right. So I think now, I've got a little couple of thick paint things there um i think what i'll do is a wash just to have something different just to do something you know mix it up a little bit we could do markers in here i use the kids now I, uh, i'm not a copic gal and pretty much i just don't um i can't i, I can't rec I, i'll say recommend i can't excuse the and that's not what i want to say either 
uh, justify. I can't justify the expense of Copics when I really don't use markers that much. Uh, Jess and like my grandson Cameron, who's 16, he's a Copic fanatic, loves his Copics. Um, I, and Jess probably already knows this if she's still here. I found uh, there's a Copic app where you can keep track of all the Copics you have. So I told him about that to download that app so he can keep track of his Copic. So when he goes by, it's like one at a time with the coupon that he'll know which ones he has. Although he pretty much remembers. But not using them enough to justify the expense. I just use the kids, you know, like the kids Crayola water-based ones. Although after seeing Eileen do that card, this card right here with the uh, Zig the new Zig watercolor markers, I might have to get some of those. And then they're not cheap either, but they're not like a Copic. And they come in a set. Uh, again, what is it called again, Eileen? I think I saved the link. Or if you want to put the link in. But these water, these are watercolor markers, not just water-based. These kids' Crayola uh, super tips are just water based. They're not watercolor markers. In other words, they're not going to blend together like a watercolor would, like this. This will blend out like a watercolor. But these are just the kids' cheap water-based ones. So if I just want to base coat a, a color book page, these work fine for what I do because after I base coat something with a, a, a water-based marker, I go over it with color pencil to do the shading with. So, and, and the tiny bits that I do marker, it just doesn't, for me, I just don't use, I don't use them to do the manga, you know, and stuff that Copic artists use their markers for. So, um, yeah. But they're awesome. Tr trust me, my grandson would, you know, do a Copic video in a heartbeat. <laughs> he loves them. Okay, so let me grab that link real quick, Eileen. And uh, yeah, if you use, oh wait, is that it, Eileen? That's not it. That's a bunch of stuff, but that's not the markers. Or is the markers on that page? I don't see the markers. Can you give me a link, a direct link to that those markers, Eileen, please? Or somebody put a direct link to the markers? That has a whole bunch of stuff on that page, Eileen, not just the markers. I know you're trying to get us to buy a whole page of stuff. <laughs> but I just want the markers. <laughs> I might get me some of those for my birthday. Yeah, the marker is a whole page of stuff. Yeah, Jess said it took her four years to get all her Copics, and Jess probably literally has everyone. Jess probably has uh, Jess C. Jess, what's your YouTube channel again? Is it Jet? What is it? Is it Jess C? Uh, what is your um, YouTube channel, Jess? And I'll say it on the recording. Okay, there's Vicky with the link. Oh, you've got to watch Vicky's link. No, uh, Vicky, you just took us to, uh, you took me to a gamer page. <laughs> Vicky, we can't trust Vicky's links. I don't know what Vicky was trying to do. I think that was, um, <laughs> I think that's some gamer page there, Vicky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, somebody will get us a link here shortly. All right, there's Eileen with another link. <laughs> no, Eileen, that still took us, this has a whole bunch of stuff on that page. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. What's the name of them again, Eileen? I'll, I'll write down the name and do my own research. <laughs> Ah, what's the name of them again? They're by Zig. I know that. They're Zig. <laughs> They're Zig water watercolor markers. I'll be able to find them just by that. <laughs> you girls. Okay, so yeah, but they're by Zig. Okay, I think they they come. Don't haven't y'all been getting them straight from Japan? Yeah, get my whip out. I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to get these girls. i got to get cracked a lack of these girls. Where's my whip at? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's see. A Dick Blake has some? Oh, Dick Blake has some? Oh, let's look at that. Jennifer Crackalackin. Uh-oh. I think I'm making people mods or demodding people. I hope I didn't just kick Vicky out. <laughs> I tried to grab a link, and I think I, I demodded somebody. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're, now we're cooking here. Let me save that blick. Or that blick. They're called Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pins, and they are at Blick. Ah, sorry if I demodded something. Let's see, there's Carrie still modded, Vicky. Did I demod Eileen? Oh, I think I demodded Eileen. Okay, there we go. All right, you're modded back, Eileen. <laughs> okay, uh, that's pretty. Uh, you got to make sure everything's dry before you go and put any kind of color pencil on there. So now, back to what I wanted to use to do the tree. I think I will go ahead and let's go ahead and get some Neo Color too, just to have. Just to mix it up a little, I'm going to get out my Neo Colors. Again, Neo Color 2 water soluble. The Neo Color 1s are not water soluble. All right, so let me go ahead and, and get out a couple of greens here. And how I use these, I use a water brush. Let's see if I got some water in that one. I use a water brush with these, and I usually just take it and I just pull off, I'll just pull off the pigment off of the crayon like that and my water brushes are only used for water-based you know things like uh, neo colors ink tints uh water colors i don't ever use my water brushes with acrylic paints all right so now you can do it two ways you can either just do a wash like this okay pulling off or if i have a bigger area like this that i'm going to have a, at least a solid wash on I'll go ahead and just put enough out here in color crayon form like this because I want to do a couple shades of green, but I want to base coat it with the light green. Then I'll take my water brush and just blend it all out. Now, uh, you have to remember, depending on the thickness of your color book pages, this might work. Like uh, using water-based uh, washes or acrylic washes. Like in the Anamorphia book, it really wrinkles your pages, which I don't mind, but just be warned, you want to test before you fling a bunch of wet media on your color book pages. You want to make sure either you don't care if it wrinkles or you want to use a minimum amount of water. Now, that's not showing up very much. It's a lime green, but I can see it, but I just want that as a base coat. All right, now I think I'll go ahead with a bit of an olive green, and let's see how much, if I want to pull this off, or do I want to actually color. I think I'm going to go ahead and just color in some of the darker area, just to get it a little faster, get the pigment down a little faster. But uh, if you want detailed areas, the best way is just to take your brush and pull some off and get into those little areas like that. And now these are kind of expensive, but they last, I mean, they're so highly concentrated that they really do, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, they don't, they don't wear down or use up very quickly, you know, because you're just using such a minimum amount and spreading out the uh, pigment with water like this, okay? Now, again, before I go in here with color pencil or anything, I'm going to want um, this to be perfectly dry. So let me just clean off my brush here. And when I change colors with the water brush, I just use a Kleenex. A Kleenex to me works better than a paper towel, a baby wipe, or anything. It like pulls the pigment right out of the brush and cleans it really quickly. So I just want to show you that you can use that. This could be a cheap kids watercolor set that you just did that with. Or you could water down water down your acrylic paints and do a wash. But it will wrinkle if you get it too crazy wet. Okay, did I have a question? Who's going to buy some crayon? I, I missed the crayon question, Eileen. You, that, one, that one went scrolling off. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get some of the blue. I want to do this kind of effect down here, the water uh, color, the water wave thing here. So I'm get my little palette back here, and I'm going to get a couple shades of blue. Let me see. I, I think this Bahama blue is almost out, I think. There's another. Okay, so I'm Bahama blue, 
and maybe a darker teal. What's the name of this one? This one is a Calypso Blue. Just a couple shades of blue. So that one's almost empty too. I'm going to have to restock on my acrylic paints. I need to get on the Americana um, the Americana support. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, just a Kleenex to wipe off the watercolor brushes. Uh, and then, let's see, what other, do I want a dark, dark blue? Maybe just a teeny bit. Uh, I think I'll go with, uh, I think I'll go with a, a deep midnight blue, just a little bit. So I'm going to go with these three colors of blue and some white. And I'm going to do this quick. It's not going to be anything fancy. It's going to be a quick little bit of waves. Okay, and a little bit of white. All right, so now let's get my brush. Let me get all the black paint out of that. And I'm just going to, I think I'll start with the mid and the dark here. Let's just go ahead and I'm just going to put some waves on here. It's really nothing fancy about it, oh, except that we do want to put something behind. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of wisp up. Technically, I probably should have colored the trees first. Now I'm going to have to kind of go around where I'm waving up over the trees. I should have colored the brown of the tree first. Oh well. All right, so let me just... I just want a bunch of different shades of blue, kind of look way, you know, some Bahama wavy light colors. A little bit dark down here. And that's pretty much all the blue I really need. See, I got way too much blue. Maybe a little bit dark spot right in there. Okay. Now I'm going to dry that, make sure everything's dry before I go on and add some white wave highlights on top. Because right now if I take the white, it'll blend in with the blue, which is fine. If I needed a lighter shade of blue, I would have just blended in some white with it. But I really want the white to stand, the foam caps of the waves to stand out. But if I put that on right now, the white on, it would just blend in. But I want it to be pure white, so I'm going to dry it. Bye, Claire. Thanks. Good to see you. Thanks. And make sure this green is really dry. Because you can't put color pencil on top of anything wet. It won't, it just won't work. All right, so now what I'm going to do for down here in the waves is just kind of add a few like little flicks of a wave here. And it's, it's very dry brush right at this point. Oh, I picked up some black accidentally. Or that dark blue. Let me turn that around. Okay, I don't want to overdo. I just want a few. Just a bit of indication like that. Okay, maybe one or two behind the tree there. Something like that. Gentle, gentle. There. Just something like that. And then we can take a little bit of water and wet down a little bit of that white there and get a little bit of a a little bit fluffier bit of brush, a tinier brush, and just put a few little splatters here. And actually, I'm going to have stars and stuff in there so I can put an even splatter up into the behind the tree. Go ahead and do that. Whoops, come down here. Real. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to do this kind of quick. All right, now the next thing I want to do, and I don't want to sit, I can dry it again or just be careful not to put my hand in that. Um, 
Thanks, Vicky. Thanks, guys. Okay. I want to uh, shade in there. So let me go ahead and let's move this. I won't need my uh, paint protector right there. Here. Let me get some color pencils here. And I just want a bit of a... Where's my sharpener? Got all my happy mail here. I gotta move some stuff out of the way real quick. <laughs> gonna move some happy mail out of the way so I can move my pencils over closer. But I do want to remember that do do another giveaway here in a minute. So let me set that someplace handy. Where, oh, there we go. There's a spot. Ugh. All right. All right, so back to the, what is that yellow came in late? This yellow right here, Trina, is, oh, see, I do need to dry that because I'm going to be sticking my hand in that. It's just a yellow, um, bright yellow Americana craft paint. All right, let me go ahead and dry this, guy so I don't stick my hand in that wet white paint. Oh, the watercolors, they're, they're, they're Neo Color 2s, Mac. The Carndosh Neo Color 2s. Yeah, in case somebody, I thought I saw somebody else asking. Okay, that should be okay. Some of those dots are probably still a little. Okay, so now I'm going to, I actually think I need a little bit darker orange. Or almost like, uh, no, that's too peach. a yellow ochre more so than orange I need to sharpen a new one yeah <clears throat> checking chat checking chat thanks everybody for being here okay so I got a yellow ochre what I want to do is just kind of shade around let me go ahead and zoom in, guys. Let's zoom in. We need autofocus. Okay. So I'm going to go around all the tree branches and give it almost like a glow. Like there's light glowing from behind the tree there. Thanks everybody for being here. This is going to be a little bit shorter show, although this is the third video that we've made this morning. I'll upload them all to YouTube when we're done. And again, thank you YouTube watchers. I've already got the next person picked out. First week of February, I'm going to try to do one a month. And sometimes I may do more than one a month, but for right now, I kind of plan to do one a month. I have the next person picked out, a YouTuber, that I'm going to do a portrait of. If y'all missed uh, this month's portrait for a YouTuber was Miss Vicki B. And uh, the, there's a two-part YouTube video up uh, drawing her. And I've drawn other uh, YouTubers as well, like Packer Die, um, the sister, Scrappy Camper Sisters, um, Bailey J, Darcy UK. Um, so yeah, I've drawn quite a few that do YouTubes. But I'm going to try to, this year, draw one a month just to feature somebody because the YouTubers that watch, you know, the recordings, they're not here live with us Ustreamers. And so, yeah, I just thought it would be nice to kind of feature 
some of them too. All right, so you can kind of see a little bit of a glow. I, I, I left it kind of subtle, but it just made a little bit of a difference. I hope y'all could tell the difference there. Just adding a little bit of yellow ochre around the yellow, bright yellow, it just kind of made it more depth to it, a little bit more depth. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and do the tree real quick. And again, I'm going to get... Oh, let's see. Let me get a, a kind of a brighter green and an olive green and probably a lime green. So I'm going to get three shades of green. So I'm going to start with the dark green and kind of get in here and just kind of do a little bit of uh, going over some of the, the shadow that was already there in black. Okay, I just want to... Uh, I want you to kind of also see through this that it's you don't have to necessarily do a uh, you don't have to spend hours and hours on the this one that I did here this one probably took me three hours total okay I'm, I'm trying to do this one in about an hour now granted it's not as complex of uh, the flowers and all that 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 will take a little bit more time but uh, I still want you to see that you don't have to spend weeks on one page. Okay, and then I do want to get one piece of watch out. Hey, we're about done, about uh, 30 more minutes. Okay. You want to get me some more coffee? You want yeah, good. thank you. That's sweet. Yeah, that got cold. So, yeah, Hubster's home today with uh, the family being here. So, so I'm just adding some really dark depth areas here and a, a lot of the shadowing in these color books where to do the shading they're done for you you know the the dark shadows and things there's a lot of it's done for you, you can always add more of course but a lot of it's done for you so it's like takes a guesswork out of well where's the shadows where's the highlights you know so i hope you can you see the difference between this and this right here I hear my grandson running up the stairs. He'll probably come busting in here in a second. Maybe not. I'll tell you, he and his daddy can do those Legos like there's no tomorrow, I'll tell you. Those Lego kits. All right. All right, let's see. All right, now I'm going to take the, the brightest green here and just go along the very edges. Well, let me go and do the medium green because I don't want to confuse you because they all need to be blended together. Thanks, honey. Okay. I'll be done in a few minutes. Did they decide whether they want to go to the movies? I want to take Nene to the bookstore. Um, I asked her about going to the bookstore, but she said she don't want to go to the bookstore. She didn't want to wear a roller in the academy. Oh, okay. So they've already gone. Yeah. I thought I heard the garage door. Okay, so they don't want to go to the bookstore with me? <gasps> well, uh, then I guess I'll have to go to the bookstore by myself. What? Are they going? Are y'all going? Are you going to the movie with them or they just want to go? No. Okay. Well, then we can go to the movie. You can go to the bookstore with me. <laughs> don't roll your eyes at me. I'll give you some cash. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> He's buying me off so he doesn't have to go to the bookstore. <laughs> I'll let him. <laughs> I know when the chat lag catches up, I'll see some LOLs on that one. Okay. Now I'm going to take the bright lime green and kind of blend in the medium green and the very, very edges of the tree. And I can also, I'll also I think I will do this other thing too. Um, remember, I told you that if you have acrylic paint, if you have acrylic paint, that the color pencil will be vibrant 
on top of the color uh, uh, on top of the uh, paint that you can't get going over color pencil and I know I've shown all the charts and all that a whole bunch of times but I'm going to go ahead and do with the yellow just to help kind of make it very dramatic here let me finish this so I'm just kind of blending in some lime green all the way around. Now to really make this glow around the tree, like maybe the light's behind here and it's coming out from behind, watch. Let me get a yellow. Let me get a yellow. Bright yellow. Bright yellow. I don't, want, I don't want fluorescent. Here we go. Just want a yellow. You want to visit the bookstore so they can get those cheap calendars. That's not till the first week of February. Right now, they're probably 50% off. I'll check today. They're probably 50% off right now. They don't go down to $3 until, and that's at Books A Million, they don't go down to $3 till the first week of February. I mean, that's what it's always been the past, I don't know, however many years. All right, so now what I'm going to do um, I'll show you the effect in another the other book as well. In the Doodler's Anonymous book, I did this effect around the astronauts. Where are they? Okay. So around the little astronaut, and little, can you see the white, how I did white kind of a, to make it look kind of foggy around? Well, you can kind of do the same thing with a, like a yellow, and we're going to make it look like a glow. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of very lightly make it look like there's a glow around on top of the black. Now I'm, I'm barely touching, barely touching, but I want to make it look like there's a little bit of a glow coming behind. I don't know if you can even see that. Okay, just, and if it's not quite bright enough, after I put the yellow on, I can go back over the top with white to make it even a little bit brighter. But I just want to like a little bit of a glow around the tree. And I'm not trying to make it like a, an exact line. Uh, I'm kind of doing a little feathery like so that it's more of a glow than it is a halo. You know, I don't want it just a harsh line. I'll make it a little heavier in spots because that'll make it look a little more true to a glow. If it's like a little brighter in some areas. I hope that's showing up. Thanks. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Vicki Cook. Yeah, I didn't know that they'd already they went to Academy and a couple of stores. So I really I can don't have to quite hurry quite as fast because they're not they're not here like to you know, want to catch them before they went to the movies or something. So Hubs just got the grandson down there. The, plying him with um, probably waffles and donuts. <laughs> oh, but again, thanks everybody for hanging out, watching the Happy Mail, watching the family, you know, visit for a few minutes. Because I don't get to brag on them very often because I'm not around them, you know, like I am Denise and the kids. you know, Boo and Cam. I see them, you know, a couple times a month at least. But uh, Annie, Dan, and Logan I only see a couple times a year. So just kind of like that. I don't want to come down in here. I just kind of want the glow. A little bit like right there, maybe. Something like that. Let's see if I add a little bit of white in certain areas. Just to give it a little bit more in a couple places. You can see my chat kind of froze a little. Hang on, guys. I'm going to scroll again. Everybody's talking about where they're from. Um, I'm using uh, Prismacolors. Although I really like the set that Eileen has sent me, I, and I do have it handy here. I did take it out of the Luminance box, Luminance box, because I wasn't using them as much. 
because they're in the box but now if I keep them all handy so this is the set that I have it's a good uh, they're quite expensive though so um, but I don't have enough really colors to do portraits but I try to remember to use my I could have used the yellow out of it you can mix and match those with the Prismacolor I just have to remember to pull them out of the their home because I treasure them I really don't I mean I do use them so you kind of see how the little bit of white gives it a little bit of extra glow but not like I don't want to outline I'm trying to avoid having like a, a sharp outline I just want it to look like it's glowing I hope it's getting that effect you see your grandsons once a year yeah I know whippy right All right. so I hope that gives it the glow effect that I'm kind of trying for there maybe just a little brighter a couple areas But the reason that this can work like this and be that foggy effect is because this is acrylic paint. This effect is not going to be the same if this was just a solid black pencil. You just can't get that, I don't want to say dry brush, but it's kind of like that dry brush look. If it's on top of like just solid black pencil, it just won't do it. It's, that's why I showed you those charts all the time. Uh, of what color pencil goes when it goes over something, how it looks. Okay, so there we go. Kind of like that. Hubster brought me hot coffee. I needed it. Hey, Nomadic Rose. All right. I did want to, let me find, I, I did want to do one little bit of a collage, maybe a, maybe a piece of a watch or something there. Hang on, let me see if I can just quickly find one. Um, let's see, kind of like this one. We could put a little wash of color over it. A little bit of blue. Here's just a piece of a watch part. Let's go ahead and cut this down a little, it's a little big. So what we'll do is make a, add a little bit more mixed media by adding a collage bit. That's going to be a little still too big. Let me find a smaller bit. One is kind of a simple one. I'll just go with this one. And I'm just going to Eileen tacky glue it down, not putting any matte mediums and all that over the top of my color book page. Because I have so many water soluble things going on. If I tried to put a, a wet, you know, matte medium over it, it would probably be smearing everything. So always make sure and check on a page in your book test out what you're going to put down <clears throat> before you uh, matte medium over anything or before you uh, uh, fixative anything. All right, so I'm just going to put a little glue. I'll smear it out to the edge because I don't like any of my edges coming up. I like everything glued down really well. And which way do I want the i decide which way I want the uh, hands to come out. Maybe I'll do it like that. And I'm just rolling off the excess glue. Something like that. And if you don't want it stark white, you can put a wash of a blue. I'm going to leave it like that because I'm going to bring the hands out. So, but you get the idea. You could add much more. You could add more collage, more mixed media, more everything. You know, I'm kind of like making this page a little simple, trying to keep it, you know. Um, well, it, you, 
if you spray it with a fixative or a Krylon or a anything, make sure that if you've used a water soluble like a Neo Color, it's not going to run. Or some markers, like if I use the water based markers, that'll run. So you, you need to test before you spray anything with any kind of fixative or anything like that. Test it on something that you've colored to the side. All right. Um, I'm almost liking the tree in the ink without any color in there. I think I might add just a little. Hmm. Do I want a little bit of brown, a little sienna? I don't want to, I kind of want to, I like that look. I like that stark look of the tree like that with the yellow. It really pops, you know, so I might just leave it like that because the watch kind of coordinates with that. But I do want to do, uh, I want to do the hands coming across and maybe one shooting star. Let's see, where's my... Maybe a shooting star. Where do I want it? Maybe I'm trying to decide compositionally where I want a shooting star. Because I'm going to have the hands of the watch. Um, where's the black pen? Let me get the hands coming off of here. I might do three. And I might have to get the paint out to do because a gel, sometimes a gel pen's not going to go over certain things, but we'll see. I'm going to turn it around for a minute, guys. So I can get a straight. Well, you could get a ruler out and do this if you want it really perfectly straight. Got a little bit of a thick part right there, which I'll just go back over with just a black pencil. Well, I just had it. Where did I get it? Did I put it back in here? That's gray. I want to take some black. I'm going to have to sharpen another one because I can't find. Let me sharpen a new one. Love how look love how the watches look like a moon. Yeah. I like to do them as planets. On the last one I did them as flower to the middle of the flowers. I'm just gonna smooth up my line there just a little. And I think I'm going to take just a tiny bit of white paint that's over here on my palette and kind of brighten. Oh, I've got too much water. Hang on. Brighten up the. Get rid of that small bit of hand there. Just kind of brighten it up. Because it's a little cream color. And now, now let's see, do I want to, I think, I think I'm going to have the falling star over here, or the shooting star, rather. Oops, too much blendy blend. Granddad's down there instigating, starting to start a fight with the grandson. <laughs> I can all right, so there we go. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. I can put a few more little stars here and there. Specifically, you know, strategically placed. Maybe a couple bigger planets. You know, maybe a little bit bigger one there. No, or, or I should say larger, brighter stars. All right, so there we go, guys. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll post it. I'll tweet it. 
Well, let's go ahead and do another giveaway. And then we'll be done for the day. It's kind of a short day, but you know, I've got company. So, I can kind of make that a little thicker. Actually, I kind of need to make this come down. I really want that to kind of really come down into the tree. Okay, so let me go ahead and back the camera out. The autofocus. And there we go, guys. There's our page for the day. Thanks. So you can see it didn't take that long, probably about an hour. It's not, you know, that complex as far as... Um, items like you know over here on the flowers you know it took longer to do each individual flower but you, you can see that you can take uh, and that was a double page spread as well this is just one but you can take the images and make them your own add your water this could have been grass and trees and flowers this could have been you could have painted the whole background a lighter color to make it day so um yeah so I, i'm happy with it and uh, I will carry. All right, well, real quick, if y'all, if my mods don't mind just sticking around for one more minute so I can do the giveaway of the other set of color books here. So we'll give away this set here that was uh, given to us by Angie Bell, My Fairy Treasures. Thanks so much, Angie. Move all this stuff out of the way. Oh, get anything wet. Paint. All right. So, how it works, I'm going to wait till I type in the word go. What color would I use for day? Oh, I don't know. Maybe um, I've used light blue and then fluffy white clouds. You could use even a, a medium blue with fluffy white clouds. And when I do fluffy white clouds, I like to do, uh, well, I'm trying to think of something. I got something here I can actually do something on. Um, all right, real quick. Let's see if I can do a real quick demo here. I'll let this black dry. Let's just imagine this is blue, okay? Imagine this is a blue sky. Oh, I do have some blue here. Let me put some blue in here. Okay, so here is some blue. All right, so let's just say this is your sky. I'm just picking up the colors. I'm just picking up the colors that's on that tray. And I'm going to let this dry while we do the drawing. Then I'll show you how to do a fluffy white cloud. We'll do a fluffy white cloud on this in just a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the giveaway here. Oh, I was going to use that paper to put the numbers on. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Maybe another piece of paper. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So, wait till I type in the word go, one number only between 1 and 100, okay? And I'm, most everybody that's here on a normal, you know, all the time knows how it works, but in case you're new, anybody can participate, it's international, I don't care, I'll mail these color books out to you. And uh, My Fairy Treasure sent us these, already gave away two other sets, and uh, they'll go out tomorrow, as will this one. So, I'm going to type in the word go, give me a number between 1 and 100, and then on random.org, we'll generate a new number, okay, because the last one was 38, so we'll generate a new number in just a minute. All right, so. All right. I'll give everybody plenty of time to put in a number, plenty of time to put in a number, and then we will uh, generate a new random.org number and send this out. If I don't have your address, make sure you email me your address um, and uh, so I can get it to you. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> yeah, it's the first person that puts the number closest to the generated number, first person closest, without going over, um, will get these two color books. So I'll give everybody time. Jess, you put in a 20-digit number. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so I'm going to make sure I don't see any more numbers. As soon as the numbers stop, then I will type in stop and will generate a new number. Okay. A couple numbers still popping in there. A couple numbers still popping in. I'll take a sip of coffee here. Okay, I don't see any new numbers, so I'm going to type in stop. Okay, let's generate a number. Okay, we're ready to generate a new number here. Ready? And here we go. 99. Now, if nobody got 99 or 100, we'll do another number. Did anybody put in 99 or 100? If not, we'll generate another number because it's whoever's closest without going over. So, <laughs> it's evil. Evil. Yeah, so did anybody put in a 99 or a 100? If nobody did, we will generate a new number. Orla, what did Orla put in? No. Okay. Well, I guess we wouldn't need to generate a new number. It's just whoever's closest without going over. So it would be the highest number. Yeah. So it would be 90, whoever has anything like right up to 99. Okay. Twinkle had 98. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, Jess. You're right. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so Twinkle. Twinkle had 98. I don't know what I was thinking about 100. Yeah. It's without going over. No, so she did. So Twinkle had 98. Yeah. Okay, thanks, guys, for keeping me on task. <laughs> okay, so Twinkle. So Twinkle will win. She won. Okay, thanks, guys. I know. I know. Don't email me. <laughs> My mods will correct me later. What are you doing? What are you thinking? <laughs> so Twinkle. Oh, my gosh, guys. Sorry. I just, uh, yeah. That's why it's hard. It's hard to do giveaways because I have a hard time with that. That's, that's true, Carrie. The only number that would have to redo is if it was number one. Exactly. I was like at the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> oh, Carrie, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Twinkle. Don't bend my brain anymore. I know. That's as far as we can do today, right? That's as much math as we're going to tackle today. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Oh, gee. All right. All right. And good to see you, too, Marie. You're welcome, guys. I will. I will spend the rest of Well, they want to go to the movies. I'm going to the bookstore. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's good to see everybody. Thanks for so many being here today. And we'll try to do an impromptu. And I want to make the art cards because I have them. Look, I have them. I have them stacked. Uh-oh. Where's my stack? Oh, well, they're here somewhere. <laughs> I have a stack of art cards, 20 of them ready to go. So we'll do that sometime this week. Thanks, guys. And we'll see y'all. Uh, I don't know if Jean's streaming today or not. <clears throat> but uh, okay, guys. Bye.